I'll go through exactly what you must look for, what foods are damaging your colon, what are the risk factors for colon cancer and how one can test and save the life. I'm Dr. Yoganand Reddy, I'm a senior gastroenterologist. Colon cancers in India have almost doubled in the last 10 years. So this is why it's important to demonstrate in this video what colon cancer looks like and what can be done about it. So this is a colonoscopy, which is the camera examination through the back passage into the colon of this 40 year old who has come in with the bleeding. This you can see the normal looking colon with nice beautiful blood vessels and obviously this is there is a lump here. You can see there is a growth in the colon. As you can see there is also some bleeding that is occurring. This is why there is some blood that keeps coming uh, intermittently and sometimes people can uh, also have a drop in their blood count because there is a slow ooze. So we will be taking some samples now to confirm what this is. But from my experience and looking at it, we can tell that this growth or a tumor, it should not be there. So we are taking now samples to check under the microscope to confirm this is a cancer. So it is not always the piles that is the bleeding. There are other issues. So this is why it is very, very important to be alert, especially when there is symptoms that is persisting. It is worrying that we are seeing more and more such younger people with colon cancer. There is obviously something that is changing, change in the lifestyle, type of food that we are eating, the wrong timing low fiber and as Indians there is a lot of misinformation, misconception, myths. So they delay proper medical help because a lot of people think colon cancer happens in people who are old. You'll be surprised to hear that we in our gastroenterology practice are seeing people as young as in their 20s, 30s with colon cancer. Blood in the stool is not always piles unless a doctor can confirm it. Piles, of course, is a common excuse which most people give for bleeding and it's also the most dangerous assumption because you can get into serious problems by presenting late because you have delayed the diagnosis. What are the symptoms that one should not ignore that could potentially be the symptom of colon, colorectal cancer, the top five symptoms. Firstly, blood in the stool that is happening repeatedly. So if you are either seeing fresh blood or altered blood that is mixed in the stool or the blood is just dripping after your past motion, this should not be ignored thinking it is just piles. Secondly, your bowel habit has changed. Either you are suffering from a new onset of constipation that seems to be getting worse despite doing all the right things or you are having repeated loose motions that is going on for weeks to months. Thirdly, you are losing weight without trying. So unexplained weight loss, this should never be ignored. Fourthly, you are starting to feel weak. You are feeling tired. Your blood count is going down. Hemoglobin is going down because there is internal bleeding, just like how I showed in that video where there is a tumor bleeding. Lastly, persistent abdominal pain, discomfort, any of these five what we call as red flag symptoms if you are noticing persistently irrespective of your age, even you can be a 22 year old. The good thing about colon cancer is you can prevent somebody from developing cancer because the cancer always starts in this small polyp which is a pimple like uh, growth in the colon. When we do colonoscopy examination to check the inside where we see these polyps we can safely remove them reducing their risk of developing colon cancer in the future because a polyp to cancer can take 5, 10, 15 years or even longer because there is no way you can scan somebody or detect on a blood test. Why we are seeing more and more colon cancers in our country? That is because there is changes in our lifestyle. There is a lot of low fiber diet. People are consuming mostly carbs. So a lot of white rice, refined flour, maida, a lot of bakery items, packaged uh, uh, kind of snacks. Weight is increasing so that central weight, obesity heavy indulgence in non-vegetarian foods, especially red meat and also all kinds of processed uh, meats are available nowadays, chicken nuggets, burgers, hot dogs, sausages, so variety of uh, processed non-veg which is even more dangerous. Diabetes is rampant in our country because of the lifestyle. So this is obviously associated also with overweight. So if you're overweight, you're obese, your risk of colon cancer is significantly increasing. If you're sitting for long hours, especially people, IT professionals in the city spending long hours 
uh, sat without much physical activity. There is of course sometimes family history. So there could be something in your own genetic material that is putting you at risk of colon cancer. There are variety of reasons. Uh, apart from that, there is increased uh, rates of smoking and alcohol intake. Smoking is a risk factor for variety of cancers that includes colon cancer as well. It's not just the lung cancer. So smoking is a risk factor for all kinds of cancers. What are the foods that damages your colon and puts you at risk of colon cancer? The top five Indian foods that is linked to irritation, inflammation in the colon, damage in the colon, colon cancer. Firstly, heavy consumption of red meat, beef, pork, lamb. Uh, secondly, deep fried snacks. Vegetarians might think that they're not eating meat, so they are safe. But if you're consuming a lot of fried items like pakoras, bhaji, samosas, manchurians, sweets, all of this is basically going to contribute to you being overweight and obese. Thirdly, processed food. Now, there is huge consumption of variety of snacks including bakery products, biscuits, buns, creams, pastries, uh, namkeens, breads, variety of uh, uh, processed stuff uh, people are consuming on a daily basis. And the next one is low fiber diet. A lot of Indians lack fiber in their diet because their diet is heavily carb. So a lot of rice, chapati, roti, not much emphasis on eating salads and uh, uh, greens. Lastly, frequent outside eating. So frequent restaurant food indulgence that has got high amount of calories, various meat tenderizers, marinades, coloring agents, all kinds of stuff that goes into these foods. And if you're consuming these repeatedly, you're naturally going to put on weight. And all these combined factors can start damaging your colon, start to cause inflammation. It can also put you at risk of developing colon cancer. What are the foods that one should eat to minimize the risk of developing colon cancer? Protect your colon. Having a diet that has got a wide variety of vegetables, all kinds of colors, carrots, beetroots, leafy greens, variety of fresh fruits. So you can get everyday guava, papaya, banana, and also combined seasonal fruits. So a good mixture of fresh fruit, variety of vegetables, whole grain foods in your diet, having more of uh, ragi, jowar, brown rice instead of uh, having maida white rice. Fermented foods, having a cup of curd, yogurt every day, a glass or two of buttermilk, small amount of homemade pickle, three liters of water every day, having a bowl of salad, just one bowl of greens every day can significantly reduce your risk of colon cancer. So fiber is very important. Lastly, and most important, physical activity, exercise. So keeping the weight down, movement is the biggest stimulator for the gut motility and also can lead you to have a fantastic gut health. So just 30, 40 minutes of daily exercise, some kind of cardio activity can help you protect from colon cancer. You need to seek gastroenterologist help when, if you continue to see blood in the stool, if there is a sudden change in your bowel habit, either of worsening constipation or persistent loose motion that is new and it's going on for weeks, you can't just ignore it. If you're losing weight without a good reason, unless you're of course trying to lose, that's different. If you're getting persistent abdominal pain, discomfort or your blood count, hemoglobin is going down. Instead of googling and putting stuff on the chat GPT and assuming it is piles, you need to see the right professional because colon cancer is preventable and if you can detect early, you can get a complete cure. Presenting late means you're missing out on the right treatment, which unfortunately can cost your life. Simple screening when in doubt, when there is family history, when there are symptoms that are persisting. A 10-15 minute simple procedure colonoscopy can find out what exactly is happening inside your colon. If there are any polyps in the colon, we remove them. We reduce the risk of developing colon cancer in the future. Is there any inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis in the colon? Or exclude any other cause for your symptoms. So try not to go to the quacks. In our country, we have 15 lakh quacks, non-medical people who are treating all kinds of problems, saying uh, uh, piles, fissures, fistula. So try not to go to these uh, people and seek the help from the right professionals. Please do subscribe to this educational channel and do comment on any other digestive health topics that uh, you wish uh, us to make videos on. Thank you.